joining us now in the studio, Freya Anderson of London Roar. Freya, it's been an incredible couple of days for London Roar and for yourself too, swimming really out of your skin there. How would you reflect on the last two days? Um, I'd say, obviously, yeah, I'm like amazed with the team and everything, and it was really good. Uh, but for myself, I think I was definitely relieved. I think the first um, match that I was in, which was match two, you know, I had like loads of silver places and I just wanted to like step it up a bit and pre perform for the team and I hope I did that by winning today, so yeah. Well, you got two wins, two race wins, first of ISL 2020 in the 100 and 200 fly. Were you feeling good out there today? What, what was the change from the previous meet to this one? Um, I think just getting into racing, I think like my turns and everything and my tacti tactics were a bit all over the place last match. So it was just about refining all that and getting just used to racing again, which what today was. And what about the um, mix really as well? Your, your split was incredible. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, definitely. I think <laughs> I really enjoy the pressure and like that's just what helps you, you know, get faster. What helps me get faster is just having the pressure and, you know, doing it for my team then and for the whole of London Raw is really good. But we can actually take a look at the highlights of that now. Here you are in action because you were in second place there and you absolutely came out on top. That's 50 metres to go. You're some body length behind. And boy, you claw people back. <laughs> yeah, I think I just like the chase, really. I can't go out <laughs> faster, that's just what I've got to go off. Your back end speed's phenomenal. Your swim speed is just incredible. I didn't know it was that close. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep your head down for the last few strokes. I mean, you do all the technical stuff right that you're taught to do? Yeah, I think that's what I'm good at is finishing. But everything else, like technical, the starts and the turns, I know I have to improve still. Um, and it definitely improved loads over the past few years, but it's still obviously more work to do. Yeah, but well, I mean, the, the thing is, the, the, the fact that your starts aren't the best yet, I mean, I remember looking at you three years ago going, this girl is going to be incredible once she, once she gets stronger, really. Because you've always been tall and you've slowly just been getting stronger and you just sit in the water. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I've covered you a long time, but to see your swim speed now and the way you hold yourself against that world-class field. Yeah, it'd just be nice, uh, you know, to really get my turns and stuff um, better. And obviously, I've, nev I've never been a short-course swimmer, so, like, to be performing well here, I guess, is really like a relief <laughs> so do you sit in the warm-up pool or in sessions looking at everybody else seeing what they're doing and taking stuff in um i wouldn't say i, I was like watching everyone i think i was learning from everyone like even people on our team you know we've got the best of the world on our own team and it's just really good to have them around to give me advice and like we all cheer each other on so yeah it's really good well, Freya, you're just 19 years of age, but this is your second year at ISL, and you were last year in the Aqua Centurions, now in the London Roar. Is there anyone you're looking to for advice, anyone you speak to, more experienced swimmers as well? Yeah, definitely. I think as a team together, it's like a team that you really want to be a part of, and I feel very lucky to be on this team. Um, obviously, last year was amazing as well. I had like my idol, Federica Pellegrini, as like the team leader, and like, I learned loads of stuff from her. But then here, you know, you've got everyone like Alia Atkinson and even Adam Peaties from you know UK. So like, it's just really good to learn from them. Well, we can now take a look at your 100 meter fly event as well because you really were swimming well. Can you talk us through this one? It's 100 free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, 100 meter free. <laughs> um, I think I just knew I had to be out with a goop to give myself a chance, I think. Um, I think my first 50 was still too slow, but I managed to get it back, so that's all right. But that's the beauty. I mean, as you, just, the more you race, the more you train, and this has been a really weird period for you, you're just naturally going to get faster. That speed will come. Yeah, I like to think so. No. Um, but yeah, no, I really, like, I've had it ingrained in me from a young age to like try and get your hand on the wall first, so that's just what I try and do. And you hold so much water. Whatever you do, drills and skills for that sort of stuff, or it's just a yeah. Um, when I was like younger, so like 14 up to 18, I was always doing loads of drills and just things to help get your catch better and everything. And then naturally, always had quite a high elbow, but it's just about you know at Bath we can use the camera system and find out the tiny, tiny things that you can improve on, which is really good. So yeah, it's good to do that. But well, what can you take from this meet going into the next one? Because it's only a couple of days till, till you race again. And clearly your form is improving as the meets go. Yeah, it's nice to see that. Uh, 
I hope I can put down some more faster times and obviously every meet's different because you're racing different people so it is a bit about the tactics as well but hopefully I can just relax this weekend and then get my game head on for yeah, Monday. Take a couple of days of rest, you certainly deserve them Freya, <laughs> well done and well done to London Roar coming Thank in you. second place, we're so looking forward to seeing you swim again in a couple of days Thank time. You.